be talking about dates. Let's bring up a chick that talks about Ooh. the 50 50. Okay. Okay. Splitting the bill conversation. Do we pay for the men? When do we pay for the men? A friend of mine was on her dating journey and she went out with a man twice. He paid for everything, wined and dined. On the third date, they spent a day together, ordered a bunch of things, had some drinks, had a good time. Let's call it a couple hundred dollars. She had to put her card down for this particular place. So when they went to pay, he was like, oh, you know, your card is down. And now she didn't speak up and ended up paying for the bill. They had plans for another date. He texted her the next day and was like, I don't really see a long-term future with you. I don't really want to waste either of our times. I think you're great, but I don't want to keep our date for next week that we had plans, which I think is very respectable. Most people just ghost. So she's talking to me about it. She's like, but he did stick me with the bill. I was like, what are you talking about stuck you with the bill? How did you leave paying? I was like, just text him and say, oh, okay, well, cool. Thank you for saying that. Had a great time too. But like, here's your split for Saturday. There's no possible way he thinks that she's just paying for his presence. He got upset, did not send her the split, and in fact went and sent her the receipts for the last two dates. <clears throat> Can we talk about how Island Girl Q enjoys the same people? No, no she's they're, really pretty. They're not. No, she's no. really, really they, have, they definitely do have the same facial structure, and then when you wear like the eyebrows, it, it does look the same. They, they got the same aura, too. That, that's what I feel more than anything. Like the way both of y'all come off is the same. The they do, they do, they do look very similar. When I talk really? to Q, when I talk to Q on the phone and stuff, I'll be telling her that, like, dog, you look just like Joy Taylor in a lot of ways. He told me that once and I didn't even know who she was. In, in the South, we call it favor. Y'all yeah, I never it. heard of her before. Maybe but. one of y'all have a tan. I have a tan right now. Yeah, she don't. I never guess they kind of look similar. But Quinn, Quinn, Quinn got it out. I don't Quinn got it out for Q and Mika right now, so. Yeah, what do we do? Oh, fuck, oh, oh, fuck all the light skinned it on the panel. Yeah, because he gonna say, Oh, get all the light skinned it off the panel. You know what? Sir? We need more black I women. <laughs> oh, 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 okay, yeah, yeah, I agree. I'm Why don't you start by dating more black women? Oh, burn. oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. well, that would be funny if you if you knew the last three people yeah, I dated were black women. Watch. Because Trigger's referring okay, to their whole sequence. Were, they, were they my complexion or darker or lighter? Trigger, you got to <laughs> I think I think Kim put all you motherfuckers in your place who said I date white women all the time. Thank you very much. No, but okay. right now you date white women. I, I feel like that woman's no, a good time. No, nigga, I date anybody with a vagina. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> anybody? Anybody? That, that yes. woman from Good Time yeah, fucked it up. All the <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I got to say this. So me and Quentin, before we get to the subject, me and Quentin was over there potting on after hours. And I says, uh, I, I don't know if this is the same if I'm conflating two different pods, right? But I said, Quentin, what do you think about uh, the ladies? What do you think about Q, Mika, and all of that, right? Quentin don't even know what I'm about to say. He says, he says, Listen, he said, man, listen, I can get Q if I want her. He said, listen, he said, listen, bro, if I want Q, she going. She love his dirty draws. That's bold, Quentin. That's I didn't bold. say she loved my dirty draws. I did not say that. Were you oh. drinking? Were you drinking? No, I was, I was sober. I was sober as fuck. I don't drink. Were you high? I don't take any um weird substances. No, I, I I can see it though. I can see the compatibility that you did at, mm -hmm. at, at Q. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, well, I face. Have a kid. if I didn't have a kid, we would have got married last month. No, mm. you would have been in Oklahoma, right there, taking me some pasta salad. Q, why are you acting like that? <laughs> I'm not attracted to Quentin. Why y'all doing this right now here? First of all, we didn't we're not doing nothing. I'm just simply quoting what he said. That's all I'm doing. And, uh, <laughs> I am. That's all I'm doing is quoting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hold on. Let, let me get our let me get our little this is me and key right here. Hold on. Let me get it out. <laughs> I swear a couple weeks this ago. Is, this is me and Key. This is stuff right here. Fireworks yeah. all day long. You know what? <laughs> you better shoot your shot at somebody else. You have a better chance of trigger than me. I'm sorry. Oh, Q, you can't be that mean. 
Oh. I'm not mean. I'm being honest. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. Mean. That is mean. Q do give me strong auntie vibes. Look, I'm a great auntie. I got three nie nieces. Are you so I, want, I, I want to say two things though. Like that's that's another issue that men feel like women can't make decisions, right? They can't have a choice. Like if it's a good man, he's doing everything. You're like the worst woman in the world for telling him no if you're not attracted or something like that part. But as far as you're not pertaining in to category, the question. Baby. Not in there. <laughs> as far as pertaining to the question, no, you guys didn't no, no, let no. me listen, finish. Listen, listen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's it's levels to this shit. Everybody not in that category to just be make being picky. Listen, <sighs> uh, no, no, no. And I'm this ain't relevant to anybody on the panel. I'm just saying oh to the, to the people that's watching this, right? To the ladies that's watching this. <laughs> I know everybody is gassing everybody head up, and they keep telling y'all y'all get what y'all deserves. No, listen. You take the first thing that shoots your shot at you. You you take it. You take, don't keep being extra picky because, you know, everybody don't get that same amount of chances as other people. Like y'all got to stop being oh so overly, or a lot of times people think that they overqualify, they overqualify for the job or they overqualify for the person that's shooting a shot. No, y'all, y'all are very much equally paired and y'all got to stop being extra picky and having all of these super standards. It's not, it's not that way for everybody. And everybody just got to play their role and play their position and play to their strengths. All right? So that's just for the people that's watching. Everybody is not in the same category. Everybody can't just keep on shooting shot down. That's not that's not for y'all. Go ahead. So I'm people sorry. should settle? So you saying trigger should Absolutely. be... Absolutely. So, wait, okay. What's wrong with settling? You know what settling means? <clears throat> settling means that you... All it means is that you're choosing... Um, something that that makes sense for you at that particular time. I don't understand what the wrong, what's wrong with settling, because I think that a lot of people overvalue themselves. A lot of women think that they way better than they really are, way yeah. better than they really are. If you settle, you could at least you could be a, you call yourself a frontier. Well, explain. So who knows that means? <laughs> but like a pioneer frontier. You just go, okay, okay. Yeah. A lot of but, people. But this is what I'm saying. It's like, so there, there's truth to that. Like, you shouldn't be super picky. Absolutely. But also, there should be a level of attraction. If you're truly not attracted to that person, but they have all the good qualities, you shouldn't be a bad guy for saying no to them, no matter how you look. Like, if you're not, if there's not attraction, that attraction is needed for a good relationship. Y'all understand. Oh, that's, that's, not, understand. that's not, that's that not true. Arrange marriage on some level. Like, they don't have to be the most attractive. No, it's, it's not the, the way that Americans date is fairly new for the history for forever. Yeah. What Anton is about to say, nigga said, "Yo, daddy, our daddy, you, you right, right here, y'all get married." And then, just, and then they rock the fuck out. Y'all was, was giving yeah. this, this, this dating away and going out. This is new shit. Y'all was giving away for livestock. I really mean. I, I, I mean, this like, I listen, actually listen. believe that dating shit kind of go back to arrange marriages thing type of situation i think that would work but i still you think there should be stuff. choice in that like there should be like arrangement but they can still say no right but you i think that would be stuff. more successful than what we're doing you today literally mid convo said just kidding <laughs> some reason y'all don't think that i don't know if y'all if y'all get this because guys don't really say it a lot you know what i'm saying we really just got the microphone but guys settle for y'all all the time. Right? Yeah. Like y'all, y'all not our first pick. You know what I'm saying? In a general sense, y'all not like like y'all flawed the fuck up. And so when yeah. you when you see a lot of these guys and they wind up saying, All right, I'm rocking with you or whatever, for some reason, y'all think that y'all just qualify for that guy. Ask him. And he may even be you told me no, so I knocked on Trigger's door instead. Sometimes, but it's not about being the first a, pick. That's a, what's wrong with y'all, man. Y'all think y'all gotta be? Give me a second for a second. Ask him. Don't even ask him directly. Don't say, "Hey, was I your first pick?" Ask him about like observe and listen to him when he's talking about his previous conquests or relationships and shit. And then think to yourself, do I really compare or do I measure up? And ask him to be honest about his experiences, not just why he broke up and stuff. A lot of guys absolutely 100% settle. They see something in you different 
that may make you different, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you meet the same expectations and other categories that he then was like, you know what, that's, I'm not even going to worry about that part over there. I'm going to just roll with this part over here because maybe you've got the characteristics of being a great mother, or maybe you nurturing, or maybe you smart as fuck, but that don't necessarily mean that you met, that you meet the expectations. So they, they adjust. 